Hi guys, it's Nikki here, and today we're going to do an unboxing and review video of our new full-size doll. As you guys may know, I do the reviews for full-size dolls, and Trixie does them for mini dolls. So today we're going to unbox and review, and you guys probably won't be able to get hold of this if you have a sort of normal amount of money. This was like a bargain. It w we won an offer on, e on auction on eBay, and we got Mittens fluff and stuff in the box and we think she's been used and put back in her old box That doesn't really bother us too much. I just like the experience of taking her out of the box And oh my gosh It's just I really like the box as well. So I'm gonna keep the box in case we ever want to pass her on. It's just like When I opened her my dad was like you should keep her in the box because she's like a rare one from 2010 and I was like no heck no I'm gonna play with her. So yeah, we are gonna get mittens out of the box today and take a look at her. So let's just have a look at her in the box. This is the print on the side of the box. And she has one of the old handles. Oh my gosh, I, I miss the old boxes so much. <laughs> Where they had individual colored handles, like with two colors. So it's blue and pink, really cute colors. She doesn't come with a tag, but she would have if this was new. In the box, let's just see it on the print. So it's like knitted. Like a mitten sweater. And the original box shape on the back of the box. She has her house down here. A little poster, collect them all. And the smitten's and her bear playing in the snow. So the bear's just sitting on like ice cubes, sugar cubes, I'm not really sure. There's a little thing inside of her house. Ooh, white pretzels. That's weird, you don't see that much. And this hot chocolate with cream on top. It says, Mittens Fluff and Stuff was once a rag doll who magically came to life when her very last stitch was sewn. She loves hot cocoa, snow fights, and snuggling by the fire. I'm really annoyed that we didn't get the, her tag. That was one thing that I really wanted if it was going to come in the box. It said box has wear and box is not in the best condition. But I was like, you guys are actually conning us into thinking this is new. That's just sad. Because uh, as you can see, there's like new sellotape here. And on the other side, it's just the same. And I'll show you this background when we actually get mittens out of the box. And as you can see, there are tags missing. And I'm pretty sure the poster will be missing. It would be a good surprise if the poster isn't missing. She's got two little trees, which they have kept. So some of the tags are there though. That's weird. But some of the tags are missing. So I'm guessing she's old and used, but they put her back into the tag and they didn't cut those ones. The bear's obviously fallen off the stand. Yeah, guys, I'm guessing this is used and they put her back into the old box. But that is very sneaky the way they put her back in. Just says mittens, wolf and stuff. There. Poster inside. Let's see if you're a lying little sign. So now we're gonna get this girl out of the box. So, I'm not sure if you saw in the last video, she has a little mark on her face here. She has a very obvious mark on her hair. Don't worry, those two we'll be able to remove, no problem. On her shoes, I'm not so sure about that. And also, this is quite dirty. Which I'm annoyed with. I'm very annoyed that they conned us. They said she was new. In box, and box was messed up. I'm annoyed. She's got nothing on the back of her head. Or down here. So I'm gonna clean her up, then we'll do a proper review of her. So yeah guys, comment what you think about the pet. I'm just not sure about this yet. But I'm glad she came, I'm glad she came with the pet and most of the box and even like the front of the box, the cutouts. So I'm gonna keep the box as intact as possible and I can like put that back together pretty easily. So yeah, I'm gonna clean her up and then we'll do a review. So I'm going to clean her up using nail polish remover and cotton buds. You guys probably, I think you guys call them Q-tips in America. Yeah, I'm still learning American speak. That's sad, that's really sad. I'm also gonna get a little cup of water and a flannel, just so when I put this nail polish remover on her, it doesn't drip down her face and I can just wipe it off straight away. As soon as it's done the job, you need um, you need to like wipe it off, otherwise it drips down her face and it actually like erases her face paint. So yeah, I've done this in the past. Also, guys, when you're cleaning up your dolls with nail polish remover, if you guys wanna do this at home, 
don't ever put it on paint because it will remove the paint as well as any marks on it. So I'm not going to do it on her cheek. I'm just going to get a flannel and scrub with that and hope it works. But on her hair, I do want to remove some of this because it hasn't been painted very well. And I'm going to just scrub up her head because it's dusty. So yeah, she does need a bit of TLC, but she will be fixed up soon. Don't worry. I'm going to be using baby wipes instead of a flannel just because I think it's easier. So now Mittens is all fixed up. She doesn't have the mark on her hair anymore or the mark on her face. The polar bear is completely clean at the back. I just cleaned up a little mark on the tail. I mean, it's for a little shinier. So yep, yeah, that's about it. I didn't have to do that much cleaning up. I'm a little annoyed that stain there won't come off, but hopefully it's not too noticeable when it dries. It's not dry yet. I just gave it a little water with a baby wipe. Okay, so let's look at the bear. He's just got this knit pattern. The old dolls were very detailed. It's got a knit pattern, little nose with a black button on it. It's got black and blue button eyes. I'm pretty sure the blue is meant to be there because I don't think the person who, who messed up this doll, they wouldn't have been smart enough to get this paint bright. Um, it's got a little pink inside his ears and on the back he's got this cute little tail. He doesn't actually have a heart like most of the pets do. So he's just sort of plain. But I like that. That's cute because the heart you wouldn't actually find on another pet. So yeah, that's cute. Now mittens. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. I don't care how old she is or how battered she is. She is beautiful. So she has white bows on her hair. She has blue hair swept into these side ponytails. Oh, she's got a little shine on her face because I just cleaned her. She has black button eyes, tan skin, um, pale pink cheeks, and smiling mouth. She has a stripy pink jumper with a little overcoat vest thing with a blue trim and really fluffy white fur. It's a long sleeve jumper. And I think these two are like attached. Wait, I'm not sure. I'll find out afterwards. She has this dirty belt, but you know, if you had her new, it wouldn't be dirty with white buttons, a fluffy well, not fluffy, why am I thinking fluffy? A blue tulle skirt with little blue circles on it. And then she has these poofy white sort of, I don't know what you call them, bloomers? With little frills here. She has pink leg warmers with the same print as her top. Then she has white boots with pink buckles and pink trim. With a little lace that goes down the middle and just buckles. These boots are really detailed, I love them. And in the bottom, they just have left and right on them. And it's ridged, pink it says 12, 21, 21st of December. It's her birthday. She just has white underpants on with pink heart there. I'm just gonna do this back up. And that is my quick review on Mittens Fluff and stuff, and also my unboxing and cleaning up of her. So thank you guys for watching this video. Mittens is adorable. I've wanted her for ages, and I'm so glad I got her for Christmas. I don't mind that she's used. I don't mind that her belt is dirty. All, I'm, all I care about is that I have her. So she will definitely come up in future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Also comment, I the Polar bear's eyes meant to be like this. I think they are, but I'm not sure. And is Mittens, do you think Mittens is used and they conned me? Or do you think she's actually new and the box is just messed up and they forgot to put a poster inside? So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in another video soon. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.